ever. It's the first time Welcome I'm turning TV. Hello, Robert. Briefly uh, describe about the waste to energy project that you are in the process of starting here in Fiji. Sure. <clears throat> well, we just uh, signed an MOU with the Ministry for Environment and Waterways uh, with Dr. Reddy. And um, we're going to get started on this project immediately. Uh, we actually have equipment ready to ship over to Fiji right now. And uh, so hopefully within the next 30 to 60 days, we'll have equipment on the ground here ready to start processing waste into power. So uh, it's a, a really good project, and uh, everybody's really excited about it. And, uh, you know, most people here know that waste is a problem. You know, landfills are, uh, you know, toxic situations, and when it rains, it, it, you know, has run off into the sea, causing issues with the marine life, and so this, uh, this project is very important for the South Pacific Islands, especially Fiji. How soon do you plan to uh, start or hoping to start with this project? Uh, within the next 30 to 60 days. Uh, we really plan on having the equipment here. And uh, it doesn't take long. The equipment is, is plug and play, so it's ready to, to go when it gets here. So it's not going to take very long at all to actually be processing waste. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, why do you think this project is important for Fiji? Well, you know, Fiji uh, is a tourism-based country. So people that want to come here are obviously thinking clean and green and a paradise you want paradise to be clean so the you know the waste situation with uh, sewage plants and uh, animal manures and you know landfills you know those are all situations that using technology that's available today uh, we can take care of those situations and make these islands as clean as they can possibly be for the visitors that are coming from around the world now with this, um, with this new technology, tell us how does it operate? For those who might be wondering how this particular technology operates turning waste into energy. But explain to them, Robert, how it operates. Okay. Uh, well, what we do in the beginning, we sort the waste uh, into plastics and cardboard and food waste and the different types of waste. We separate those first. Because this technology can actually uh, produce um, other products as well, like uh, soil amendment and uh, animal feed. So depending on what we put in the system, you know, we get an output that is a, has a usable product. So if we're producing uh, electricity, uh, we can do that using rubber tires. Uh, you know, all types of waste can be turned into pellets, these little pellets that we in turn use to produce electricity. And then like plastic bottles, you know, plastic is the biggest problem that's on everybody's mind these days. Well, our technology can turn any type of plastic waste into diesel fuel, much cheaper than what you're paying at the pump and a much cleaner burning diesel as well. So using all of these good technologies, uh, you know, it's, we're producing products that are usable here in the islands. Is there a possibility of eradicating all waste and making Fiji waste free through this technology? You know, that's a good question. And uh, I believe that using this technology, we can totally eliminate landfills and dump sites and then the waste that's generated on a daily basis from the hotels and resorts and from people's homes, that can be processed on a daily basis as it comes in. So rather than putting waste into a landfill where it stays for years, when the waste comes into our processing center, we process it that day. So we really can stay waste free as far as putting it in a landfill, meaning we don't want landfills in Fiji and we have the technology to eliminate landfills. So yes, we think Fiji can be not waste free, but we can take care of the waste on a daily basis. Now Robert, uh, these landfills that you mentioned, um, how will your technology be able to clean, that, clean them up so that they are safe afterwards for well, other purposes? Well, like we're, we're working with the Numboro landfill, uh, the Latoka landfill, 
And uh, as of yesterday, I met with the Ba uh, City Council. They also have a landfill there in Ba. So what we're going to do is our, our systems come in shipping containers, so they're mobile. So we can set one up in Ba, we can set one up in Latoka, and also Namboro, and different size units. We have a one ton per hour, a three ton per hour, and then even a 15 ton per hour. So the 15 ton per hour system will be set up in the Namboro landfill, and that can process 360 tons per day of waste. So we're talking about as much waste that's being generated on a daily basis can be processed on a daily basis. So it's really good for the communities and uh, the areas where the landfills are. You know, eventually, I don't know how long exactly it'll take, but it won't take that long doing that much waste per day. We're going to get rid of all the landfills and then reclaim that land and do something else more valuable with it like build a golf course or build a resort or a new housing community, you know. There's a lot more things that can be done with land than pile trash on it or rubbish on it. <laughs> Thank you for that, Robert. Now stay with us. We'll hear more from Robert after the break.